RCC. Reinforced structures are designed to resist following types of loads. The first one is dead load. These are the loads that will not change with respect to time. The dead loads acting on the structure include the self weight of the structural elements, partition and finishes. The self weight includes of structural elements like column, self weight of column, self weight of beam, and self weight of slabs, walls, etc. which also depends on the type of material used in the structure. The dead loads of the most common material used in the structure elements are as follows. Brick masonry. The unit weight is given in kilometer per meter cube. Brick masonry is 18.85 to 22. For plain concrete it is 24. For RCC it is 25. For steel, it is 78.5. Steel work for roofing, 0.16 to 0.23. Brick wall, 100 mm thick, is 1.2. The second type of load is live loads. These are the loads that will change with respect to time. That is, as time passes, the loads may increase or may decrease as compared to dead load which is constant throughout the life of the structure. Live loads are, are imposed loads include the load of due to people and those due to materials that are stored. If stored material increases or decreases, the live load will also increase or decrease. Vehicles in garage floors the imposed loads for different occupancies are as specified in IR-875 Part 2 of 1987. Loads in dwelling houses, hospital wards, bedrooms, etc. are 2 km per meter square. Office floor other than the entrance halls is 2.5 to 4 km per meter. per meter square after that there is shop floors for display and share sale of merchandise jahan pe hum mall mein aap jayenge wahan pe yahan pe saman rakha hota hai uska floors of workrooms classrooms restaurants machinery halls in sab ka aayega 4 km per meter square uske baad aayega warehouses Workshops, factories, in Kayaga, 10 km per meter square. Floor used for garages for vehicles not exceeding 25 km gross weight. Floor I slab kelly and beam kelly 2.5. Floor used for garages for vehicle not exceeding 40 gross 40 km gross weight. 7.5. Staircases for stairs, landings that are also part of stairs and corridors for class 2 building it's 3 km per meter square after that there is balconies that are not liable to overcrowding jahan pe overcrowding nahi hogi wahan pe aayega 3 km aur jahan pe overcrowding hogi wahan pe aayega 5 km per meter square aur baaki other classes ke liye ye class 2 hai class 2 ke liye 3 hai aur other classes ke liye Five. After that, there is wind load. Wind load have to be considered in the design of multi-story buildings, like towers, poles, like words Khalifa. Wind loads depend upon the intensity of winds prevailing in the locality of the structure. Jahan pe structure hai, wahan pe hawa kitni tez chalti hai, uske hisab se wind load lagta hai. IS 875 Part 3 prescribes basic wind speeds in various zones by dividing the country into six zones. The design wind pressure is computed as P is equal to 0.6 V square, where P is equal to design wind pressure, 
and v is equal to design wind velocity after that the fourth load is snow load structures subjected to snow loads have to be designed suitably by considering the snow loads prevailing in the region and the various load combinations isme baad mein dekhenge hum is 875 part 4 aur part 5 mein the last one is earthquake loads or seismic loads or seismic forces have to be considered in the design of structure that are located in seismic zones the seismic force is computed as f is equal to alpha beta gamma and g alpha is horizontal seismic coefficient depending on location with values of 0.08 for zone 5 0.05 for zone 4 0.04 for zone 3 0.02 for zone 2 and 0.01 for zone 1 these are the values of alpha horizontal seismic coefficient after that beta is coefficient depending upon soil foundation and gamma is coefficient that depend upon the importance of the structure the g after alpha beta and gamma g is dead load about the section considered the structures that are located in the zone 3 4 and 5 are considered severe earthquake zone 